In this video, I will be ranking every village set ever made for the LEGO Minecraft theme. So let's get started. So in the last spot, we have the Abandoned Village. This set came out in 2022 and had some pretty cool minifigures with some nice builds. It has some cool features like how you can make it not abandoned and become a normal village. The main part of it was one small house that is usually in a spruce forest and I think it's pretty nice. The way it's done is quite cool and quite accurate and I'm happy that we did get an updated version of a village for a spruce and it was nice. So yeah, it has some nice features but the minifigure selection is also quite good. I was quite intrigued by it because it has zombie villagers and that's something that I really want to get. It only came in the village before this and it was amazing, the zombie villager. They may have actually simplified it, but I still think they're pretty cool and the torsos are a bit more detailed, but the heads are a bit less detailed. It's a bit odd there, but I still think it's a cool set with some cool minifigures and a great build. The reason it's in last place is just because it doesn't have much in it. The actual set itself isn't actually the best. All it has is one little village house and a few outer builds that aren't even very significant. So yeah, that's why it's in last place. A great set though, I want to get this set soon. And next up is the Illager Raid. The Illager Raid came out all the way back in 2020. It was a great set, had some really cool minifigures and was really nice. It was a desert village and we hadn't got that yet. So it was pretty cool to see. It has its few inaccuracies, but it's still quite cool and has that well and the bell and everything like that. It has that big village house and a farm. But then the main part of this was probably how it came with pillagers. That was what everyone wanted. And of course the ravager, which is brown for some reason. Not sure why that was, but yeah. It has a better setup than the abandoned village, having more significant things such as the farms, the houses, and the well. It also comes with a bell, which is super cool, and the armor stand with most of the diamond armor on. So that's pretty cool, and it was actually the first time I got diamond armor in a set, which is quite funny. I think it was a really nice set, has some great minifigures with those pillagers, the Vindicator and the Ravager, and that Kai skin was amazing. So yeah, great set. Cool interiors, nice build. So let's move on. And after that, we have the Llama Village. Now, I'm not sure if I should count this as a village set or not, but as it has a village in its name, I'm just gonna count it. So it has some pretty cool minifigures and that's really the best thing about it. The build itself is kind of bland and just not very cool. It just feels boring and just, yeah. It doesn't really feel like something that I'd really want to buy voluntarily. I'd buy the set for the minifigures, but not for the build. I feel like the build isn't good enough for that price, but still, it comes with a thousand pieces, so it's still quite a cool set. So yeah, this spot is mostly because it has good minifigures, and because of its size, it actually would have been lower down if it didn't have those outer builds, but those outer builds have saved it. It is quite a cool set, I've got to admit. The size is quite cool for a Lego Minecraft set, but the set itself just isn't very impressive. Cool minifigures though, so that's why it takes a spot. And finally, in spot number one, we have, of course, the village. Amazing set, probably the best Lego Minecraft set of all time. It's amazing, it has so many features, super detailed, super accurate, looks so well done to how the village was in 2016. <sighs> It just makes me want to burn it like I did in Minecraft. Yeah, so this set is really nice. It has some great interior details. It has some iron golem action. It has lots of different villages. It has something that's not actually in a village, but it's still pretty cool and does fit in quite well. But it also does come with some different villager houses, which are pretty nice. And I really love this set. It really does look like a village just made into reality just in a miniature scale. That is crazy, and it's really done well. I love this set. So much detail, so much accuracy, done super well. Of course, it has the inaccuracies of the Minecraft theme itself, but still a great set. Very, very great. It's on par with the Mountain Cave, if not better. So, yeah, 
that's why it's in first place. So that was the village set ranked. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There's another video down there. I really hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.